Uh, as everybody should know, or if you don't know, there's like a surge of new MCs, new hip hop artists that are coming in the game. And J. Cole, by many people would say, he's the next one. Uh, his first album was a great, uh, it went gold, sold like 200 something thousand in its first week, I believe. He did his tours, he went around, kissed the babies and built a really cult following. People that love J. Cole really, really love J. Cole. I'm not a J. Cole hater. I'm not a J. Cole hater. I respect his skill on the mic. He can songwrite and he can rap. But uh, I was very, you know, it definitely was like something where I was like, you know what? I listened to the first one. I liked a few joints on that. Let me hear the second one and see what it is. So I'm going to let you guys know what I think about Born Center, J. Cole. So, uh, so uh, I heard the album uh, streaming. I, I have to say, I, I really liked it. I really thought it was definitely my alley. I like mood music. I like music that kind of changes the mood. I, I like music that does kind of cut the edge a little bit. So when I heard Born Center, it was a great jam. The first one that I listened to was Villanati. And it was like very dark, very powerful. You know, he's definitely channeling some timbo into this jam because the, the you know, you got those kind of lazy drums or like a little bit off drums. Uh, the fast hi-hats, he's rapping, you know. For anybody that, you know, if you're a guy that likes rapping, uh, we're talking taking it to the source of what people like, where you're, you know, you're using your, you know, all the tools in the box of rapping, he does it on this track, and he really comes out with a bang. There's no intro, there's no somebody talking, there's no D-Dot, Angeletti, shots out to him, you know, mad rapper type talk. No, it's just, let's jump into the album. For all y'all rappers that do that, the intro is dead. That was the 90s, no more intro, no more. Another jam on J. Cole Born Center that I thought was really cool was Trouble. Uh, I thought it was really hot, the little the sample that he put in it. One thing that you'll hear in this album is there's a lot of, I don't know how much he sampled or didn't sample, I'll figure that out once I, I doing the old man move will buy the actual physical copy. A lot of you cats probably are gonna buy it, download it, on your Amazons, your Google Plays, and your iTunes. I actually still like reading the booklets like a nerd and, you know, looking through on where it was, who produced it, you know, who, where the sample came from, where they mixed, who mixed it, where did they record it at. Those are the type of things that you don't care about. Maybe I do. So, you know, this is a sample in there, I believe, whether he created it or he sampled it, you know, but the jam is really tight. He does uh, a really cool flow on it. He does a really cool flow. It, it took me back. It's like, it's it's that, um, he found that pocket in the beat where he kind of, he's kind of going with the bass drum for all you rappers. It's, a lot of you rappers don't even. Check out Trouble. Check out, check out Trouble. Do it right now. The last joint that I'm gonna put you on to is called Forbidden Fruit, featuring Kendrick Lamar on the Born Center J. Cole album. I was happy to see this because, you know, a lot of times, you know, it's a competition. Hip hop is a competition. For all those that think people are gonna hold hands and prance down the street, that's not what hip hop is about. I like to see competition. I see, you know, but I do like to see good collaboration. And who better than Kendrick Lamar, who is like, you know, this isn't about him, but everybody knows he, he's doing this thing right now. I love, I love the song. I like the beat. I like the mood of the music that was on it. It's really cool. It's really smooth. And um, if you know about J. Cole, he always has like little things that he's saying but not saying. And that's something that's also kind of in this track. But they're definitely... Uh, Spitting about the forbidden fruit. You can take that how you want to take it. But I really like that jam too. So check out Forbidden Fruit. All right. So the director behind the camera says, what's your verdict? What, how do you feel about this? You know, what, what, what do you think about Born Center? You know, you know, shouts out to North Carolina. Shouts out to all the cats, you know, Winston-Salem. I was just in Charlotte not too long ago. I love you, Charlotte. Charlotte, I had so much fun but that though that's a whole nother story uh see i lost my thought the verdict of born center is that uh you have to buy it 
you have to buy it. Uh, this is for, and you know what? Like, here's the thing, you know, if you're a fan of J. Cole, if you're a fan of his movement, if you're not a fan, um, I think you should go and give it a chance. Born Center, I think, you heard this first. Dunn Son is tell, telling you now. I know music. I'm going to tell you now. This is probably going to be what solidifies him to really make that next step. I think the first album was something where people were still trying to figure out if he's Jay-Z's little buddy because everybody that comes under Jay-Z had to fight the shadow of Jay-Z. The best thing J. Cole ever did, and he actually did an interview recently uh, with Elliot Wilson, where he talked about he purposely did not use Jay, he, he, never, he didn't use Jay to push him. He didn't ever really, you know, if you notice, you never see Jay and J. Cole really together. He doesn't, li you know, he doesn't live off of that man's legacy. He signed to Rock Nation, but he does his own thing. And I respect that. Go, get in your car, put the key into the ignition, start it. Go to Best Buy, buy the physical copy, kids. Stop, stop downloading. Downloading is cool, but touch, rip rappers, throw them out the window, litter, open it up, pop the CD, pop it in, and enjoy it. This is Mickey Dunn on the Unnamed Music Show, the best show in the universe, and I said it. Check it out.